Welcome to the video lessons for today. I'm going to discuss about compound interest. So for our learning objectives are to define compound interest, to compute future value and compound interest, and to differentiate the simple interest and compound interest. So shall we start? So let's imagine na ikaw si borrower o uutang at ako naman si lender or nagpapautang. Ikaw ay uutang sa akin ng 1,000 at bibigyan kita ng interest na 5% every year. Uutangin mo ang pera ng 10 years. So sa madaling salita, every year madadagdagan ang principal amount or ang pera na pinautang ko sa iyo dahil every year magbabayad ka ng interest. So in the other word, compound interest is patong-patong na interest. So in finding future value, we use the formula of F is equals to P times 1 plus interest or I and D raised to the N or number of years where the P is the principal or present value, F is the future value, I is the interest rate, N is the number of years. So in finding the compound interest, we use the formula of I C or compound interest is equals to F minus P or future value minus principal value. Or meron din tayong shortcut pag ang inahanap lang ay compound interest. Ang gagamitin natin ay compound interest is equals to P or the principal times 1 plus interest and raised to n or number of years minus principal so example cardo invested 90,000 at the bank that offers 9% interest rate compounded monthly find out how much the future value and the compound interest after 5 years so first step identify what is being asked and what are the given so in this problem, we're looking for future value and the compound interest. And uh, the uh, given are the principal amount is 90,000, the interest rate is 9%, and the number of period is 5 years. So second step, write the mathematical equation of the future value and the compound interest para hindi kayo malito. So the, fr the future value is F is equals to P times 1 plus I raised to N and the compound interest is IC or compound interest equals to F minus P or future value minus principal or present value. So the formula is F is equals to P times 1 plus I is equals to our raised to N and uh, substitute natin yung value so p is the 90,000 90, the i is 0 0.09 or 9% and they raise to 5 number of years so 90,000 times 1 plus 0 0.09 raised to n is equals to 90,000 open and close parenthesis of 1.09 raised to 5 so in total is 138,476 pesos and 16 centavos. So, next step is the compound interest. So, pag nakuha natin na yung future value, mamayos lang natin yung sa present value. So, the future value is 138,476.16 minus 90,000. So, the total is 48 1476.16 so therefore the amount of compound interest he will earn is 48476.16 and the future value is 138476.16 so another example lucas invested 100000 at the bank that offers 8% interest rate compounded monthly in three years 
find how much the future value and the compound interest. So again, the first step is identify what is being asked and what are the given. So in this problem, we're looking for future value and the compound interest. So the given are the principal value is 100,000, interest rate is 8%, and the number of period is 3 years. Second step again is write the mathematical equation of the va future value and the compound interest. So the formula is ito, future value is F is equals to P times 1 plus I raised to N. And the compound interest is uh, IC or in compound interest minus F minus P. So, una natin susolve muna ay yung future value. So, substitute natin yung formula into the given. So, 100,000, open and close parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.08 or 8% raised to 3. So, ang lalabas sa toko dyan ay 100,000, open and close parenthesis, 1.08 raised to 3. And the final answer is, 125,971 and 20 or 0.20 So, pag nakuha natin na yung future value, next natin ang compound interest So, substitute ulit F is 125,971.20 minus 100,000 is equals to 25,971 .20. So therefore, the amount of compound interest he will earn is 25,971.20 and the future value of his money will be 125,971 pesos and 20 centavos. Ganun lang kadaling isold. So another example, number 3, Miss Garcia borrowing 50,000 at the bank and he agreed to pay 3% interest rate within 5 years. Find the compound interest. So in this problem, we're looking for compound interest only. So yung kanina, mayroon tayong optional na formula. So pwede natin ng gamitin yun dahil ang hinahanap lang dito ay compound interest. So the given R principal is Principal amount is 50,000, interest rate is 3%, and the number of years is 5 years. So we use the formula of compound interest, yung at kanina. Yung. So IC is equals to P, open and close parenthesis, or times 1 plus interest or I raised to N, or number of years minus principal amount or present value. So, substitute natin yung value sa given. So, P is 50,000 and the opening and close parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.03 raised to 5 minus 50,000. So, next step nyan is kailangan muna natin isolve yung opening and close parenthesis. So, 50,000 times 1.03 raised to 5 minus 50,000. So, ang lalab sa sagot dyan ay 57,963.70 minus 50,000. So, the final answer is 7,963.70. So, therefore, the amount of compound interest he will pay is 7,963.70. Ganun lang kadaling isolve ang compound interest. So, proceed tayo sa the differences or what is the difference between simple interest and compound interest so sa madaling salita in simple interest it is the amount of money that the borrower that the borrower has to pay the lender on top of the principal and we use the formula of interest or simple interest equals to p times r times t or principal amount times interest rate times t or time or number of years and the compound interest 
we use the we use this in uh, computed on the principal and also the accumulated past interest the formula is compound interest is equals to p times 1 plus i or interest raised to n minus p so sa simple interest one time lang ang interest nya so sa compound interest patong patong na interest yan ganun lang yung pinagkaiba nyan uulitin ko sa simple interest one time interest and the sa compound interest maraming interest or magpapatong patong interest kapag hindi ka or pag ang pinili mo ay compound interest every year magbabayad ka ng interest and pag sinabi namang simple interest isang beses ka lang magbabayad ng interest and that's for all thank you for watching and i hope you understand the lessons thank you